Nicholas. Welcome to Toronto. I'm really excited to tell you all about Green Hope Foundation and perhaps to add our city to your Tour de Monde. Let's go. Pour comprendre comment répondre aux enjeux de notre époque, je suis parti à la découverte de solutions citoyennes sélectionnées pour le Forum mondial de la démocratie. Nous allons voyager aux quatre coins du monde pour répondre à la question « Est-ce que la démocratie peut sauver l'environnement ?» Bonjour à tous, je suis heureux de vous retrouver pour ce nouvel épisode de Cycling for Democracy qui nous emmènera aujourd'hui à Toronto, au Canada. Les jeunes sont parmi les acteurs de la société civile les moins représentés, trop souvent tenus à l'écart des processus qui déterminent leur avenir. Pourtant, on le sait, la participation est un facteur déterminant du développement de l'autonomie et de la conscience sociale. Ces dernières années, et grâce au travail de quelques figures de proue, Certains gouvernements ont commencé à prendre des mesures pour promouvoir la place de la jeunesse dans la prise de décision. Dirigée par la très jeune activiste Keikashan Basu, la Green Hope Foundation est une organisation mondiale dirigée par des enfants pour des enfants. Le groupe s'efforce de fournir une plateforme d'engagement aux jeunes afin de leur donner les moyens d'être les moteurs du changement de la société civile. Allons rencontrer Keikashan à Toronto. As a global youth-led social innovation enterprise, Green Hope Foundation works to localize the sustainable development goals through grassroots actions for a just, peaceful and nuclear weapons-free world. Climate change and biodiversity loss disproportionately affect regions and communities least responsible for it. Our actions are therefore driven through a human and planetary lens built on multilateralism, collaboration and intergenerational solidarity. Kekeshen, you set a record as the youngest delegate to speak at the United Nations conference. I'm interested to hear from you about your personal position as a very young activist. How do you manage such a big commitment? I started my advocacy when I was seven and Green Hope Foundation when I was 12. So I've always understood that if you're passionate, empathetic, hardworking, honest and positive, you can always make a difference. I'm also really fortunate to have had a strong support system in my parents and the Green Hope Foundation team. And together we work to change the world. I know you have been organizing environmental academies with the aim of empowering youth participation. Can you give me some examples of actions led by children along with Green Hope? We at Green Hope Foundation have installed deep or two vaults and toilets in the villages of Bangladesh, solar streetlights and solar panels in Liberia and Bangladesh, planted fruit trees in drought stricken communities to ensure food security, distributed solar cookers to communities for women's good health, planted mangroves from Suriname to Kiribati for ecosystem restoration, and we grow our own food to promote urban sustainability, including here in Canada, where we have our own farm. These are a lot of hands-on action led by children and Green Hope on a big scale. You aim to bring youth in the sustainability discussion through these kind of actions, but also through advocacy at the highest levels. As I said, you spoke to the United Nations. What are Green Hope main achievements so far? Green Hope Foundation works in more than 25 countries and has impacted over 160,000 people, providing thousands of them with clean water and electricity. We've planted over 200,000 trees, over 6,000 mangroves, conducted over 325 cleanups, recycled over 200,000 kilos of waste, and conducted more than 500 environmental academies. For our work, we've been named Innovator of the Year in 2019 and 2021, and our greatest achievement will be bringing a smile on everyone's faces. Here is my usual last question. Democracy is constantly in need of ideas in order to be reinvented and strengthened. From your point of view, can democracy be saved by ecology? Saving our ecology can definitely help save our democracy. 
Ecological disasters and biodiversity loss affect vulnerable communities, especially in developing nations, the most infringing on their democratic rights and freedoms. By saving our ecology, we will be able to create a culture of peace that ensures that everyone has access to the democratic rights and freedoms everywhere. Kekashan and the Green Hope Foundation show us that the young people have a political immense potential. They have the capacity to bring solutions and to operate important changes. The international normatif international des droits de l'homme affirme the right to take part in the conduct of public affairs. Ainsi, la participation des jeunes au débat environnemental doit être considérée comme un droit, un moyen et une fin, non seulement pour repenser nos sociétés, mais pour préserver notre planète. Sans la voix et la participation des jeunes, nous ne pourrons pas faire émerger un futur cohérent et véritablement démocratique. A bientôt pour un nouvel épisode de Cycling for Democracy.